Hi guys. Hey guys. Welcome to our humble not yet abode. <laughs> yeah, our Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I had spoken previously about how we haven't had that big of a chance to work on the van. The weather's been super bad. We went on vacation. We've had 10 million things to do. So today is the first day in a really long time that we've really got to get in here and get some work done. So I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes, I'm pumped. We're going to make a little bit of progress on this rust. Okay. I'm so tired of dealing with the rust. I know, and I'm sure you guys are so tired of hearing about the rust, but if you think about it, we really only have yeah. two and a half to three more days to get all the rest done. Yeah. So if we just get in here and grind and knock it out, grind literally, and knock it out, then we'll be done. And then the next step is to put the windows in. So hopefully there will be a change of scenery really, really soon for you guys and for us too because we're so burnt out. Yes. Anything else to add there, baby love? You want to tell them what we're doing today? We are going to grind that side step you guys saw us pull up or maybe only people on Instagram saw us pull it up. I don't remember. If you don't follow us on Instagram, it'll be linked below. Yeah, on one of those platforms it was there. We're gonna pull up the driver's side step because we haven't done that yet. I'm gonna knock both those out while Tasha puts a second coat down on the back little strip um, where the gasket for our back door goes. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. <laughs> and just to update you guys, we have to have our front driver's side tire patch. Oh yeah. There's a slow leak, we had noticed it. And then we're also having some weird issue with our um, backup camera. Yeah, all the colors are inverted on it. So, so uh, I thought that I hit one of the wires with the angle grinder, which would make sense if that's what was causing it. But I have looked over all of the wire that's ran in the back and I don't see any exposed cable. So I'm thinking maybe it's something under the headliner. So. All right, guys, let's get into it. Hopefully you notice the sound and the video is a little bit better. We're using my big bulky DSLR. We're gonna get a new vlogging camera soon. soon. We've been putting money back every week for the van conversion and we haven't done a lot on the van other than the rust. Yeah. So now we have money and we're gonna put some of it to a new vlog camera. And hopefully the mic sounds a lot better <laughs> because last time, yeah, I don't know why I keep doing this, <laughs> but last time we used this camera, the mic was awful because of the wind. Yes. And now we've got the big cattail on there. So hopefully, hopefully it's, it's primo. Okay, right, so we're off. See you soon. But there's also this metal thing is like uh, bolted here and overlapping. I don't know so what I don't that's know. for, but I can take them off. I've got the stuff to take all those off, so I'm not sure. For the big reveal. Oh, oh look, there's water in there. Oh, good. Awesome. No, well, there. I see one drainage hole. Well, that may even be the screw hole. It may be. The drainage hole's right here, see? Oh. And that's what? not even where the water pulls up. Yeah, what good that's doing us. So we're gonna drill a new hole there, probably, for drainage. Definitely check under your steps, guys. Tell them what's going on. So the rust has basically eaten all the way through this metal and now it's just it doesn't have any strength i mean not through all of it but at least these parts we're going to grind it with the gr angle grinder we'll figure out just how bad it is god i'm flipping gross <laughs> my nose is running So we are currently tackling the underside of the van. There's uh, quite a bit of rust, so Joey's just pulling off everything. I need to take these off. Okay. These? Yeah. Oh dear. There are so many steps to all the things. So it's a good thing that we decided to take that off because holy cow, look at that freaking rust, dude. All the way around the wheel well. It might be all the way through, and then what? We've got Bondo, but it's just, we may have to use fiberglass cloth and Bondo to make a patch. Oh, I think I tore a hole in my pants today. Oh yeah. I don't think that was there before. No. 
This is why, folks, this is why you think that converting rest will take you maybe like two to three weeks at the most and then you get in here and you get to it and two months later we're still finding things that need to be completely patched so it's all part of it time to make the van ugly it's gonna be a real dalmatian now <laughs> We are running out of daylight. It is seven o'clock, the time just switched back here. Um, so we're trying not to make more work than we can get done, but we have to get. But we have to get all of the spots that we've uh, grinded. We've got to get them covered or else we'll just rest more. So see you after that's done. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. If you found value, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you know when we post a new video. Comment below if you use similar rust converting techniques or something totally different. But we will see you next week. Bye!